What is happening, y'all? Dip tits and square bodies coming back at you again for another video. And now, me and Matthew, we just uh, happened to do a Facebook Live the other day, and then a, another one the next day, telling everyone that we got up the full can mint challenge. Uh, we didn't get it up because I posted the video, my software told me it was loaded, and uh, it wasn't loaded. It wasn't loaded. My software said it was loaded when I went under my Facebook app to, or my YouTube app, excuse me, to check out the progress of the video. It said error uploading video too long. So it was 17 minutes. Of yeah. Garrett falling on the floor. No. <laughs> so the thing is, we have to keep this one under 15 minutes. So there's going to be two things we're going to go over in this video. We're going to bust them out quick. First thing first, we are going to show you how to make a can lid into something usable. Uh, Outlaw, he has a video about this. He did this a long time ago, probably about two years ago. So this isn't something new for a lot of you dippers out there. But just in case, we're doing this because there's going to be moments where I can't talk real well considering I'm going to be doing a full can of mint challenge. To have so, wait, wait. When are we going to upload the video of me doing the... Uh, Plug the back up. Plug video will be coming up next, right after this video. So that was awesome. hilarious. So first off, right off the bat, this is the can I'll be doing. This is old style can. It also has a K, meaning if you watch our dip recall video, you'll understand what that means. But we are all thankful that Copenhagen Mint is back on the shelves. And if you look there, their new logo, well, new print for the... Uh, Barcode there down there on the bottom. Awesome, awesome. Now let's get this stuff. <laughs> All right. So I guess real quick while you're doing, that, I want to tell you a little story about what happened to me today. Yeah. I was sitting around with a bunch of people that aren't very uh, uh, into our redneck genre, and I was playing country music in the place I was today, and the girl went yeehaw. And I said, first of all, in today's redneck genre, it isn't yee-haw anymore. It's yee-yee. And she's like, what's yee-yee? I was like, look up Earl's Dibble Jr. Mm-hmm. I'm going to leave that over here, please, sir. <laughs> all right, y'all. So I'm already a good half of canon, I guess I'd say, maybe. So, Matt, if you want to actually get started, take that camera right there. All right. First thing you do, take your can that has already been used, chewed, spit, abused, detected, neglected, and all the other fun things. You're going to take it in your hand, put it in between your palm and your fingers, and you're just going to squeeze and turn until you start getting that nice little rotation. It, it takes a few minutes. I think that's why the video was so long last time. Yeah. But you're just going to turn it. And I mean, there's actually no way to actually describe it as you're doing it. But you're supposed to get like this, start getting like an ovally shape, which breaks the seal on the can. How's that going, Garrett? Well, I'm starting to look like a chipmunk. <laughs> so I guess pretty well. Talking's kind of going to start kind of down for a little bit till my cheeks stretch out. I told me it was a lot of practice. <clears throat> mm. Ah, my left. But, um, anyway, while well, he's looking like a chipmunk, enjoying himself with his cowboy hat down. <laughs> you alright? Mm hmm. Mm. Come on, you can so do it. much dip, man. You can do it. I wouldn't have gone with the flavor mint, but he's got this. Mm. So, you kind of got to do a suck and squirt motion. Hopefully that's not wrong to say. But you got <laughs> Cheeks all full of chaw. 
dip, dipper, spitter, whatever y'all want to call it out there. Dipping, spitting, coming and pissing, as I would always say. So, all y'all out there, if you've ever done a full can challenge, I'm only like a minute into it, I already slightly, this is my second time doing this. First one was for 17 minutes, now we gotta cut this down. But, uh, tell me how y'all pack it in your mouth. Uh, I kind of do a split, about a fourth over here, three fourths over here. Put it all on your tongue, see what happens. Eat a dip. <laughs> So anyway, um, glad I chose mint. It's like a mouthful of glass and bees. Hmm. So, Matt's almost well, got this can lit out of here. Matt is going to go and explain to you uh, after he gets the can lit out. So, what it'll start to do, guys is it will peel from the thing. But you just keep spinning until it's all out. Well, cutting your hand. There we go. Ta-da. Like I say, it's just, when you take this in your hand, you spin it and turn it, and all you're doing is a grasping motion on it. Like this, and you're turning. Yeah, here. Oh, where's that other lid go? There it is. So pretty much what Matt said, just to kind of get close to the camera, you just take it in your hand, hold it, and you just squeeze, turn, squeeze, turn, squeeze, turn. But this, and it show them, that'll be your end result. Now, as Outlaw showed on his video, so I don't want to take credit for it, if you take glue, you can put it on a wallet. Or, what I like to do is I like to do what Outlaw showed me. And you put it <laughs> on your hat. So what you do is you're going to take right where it says cancer. And you're going to bend it right there. Kind of bend in the middle. You want it pinched down a little bit more. I've noticed it works a little bit more if you kind of get that shape. <clears throat> so then after you get that shape, you take right... Whoop, you got to move over to the camera. You got to take that line right there, right underneath long cut, right above the warning label, and you just bend right on it. It actually bends relatively easy right on it. Now, while you're doing that, Garrett, tell, tell me how your mouth feels. Um, it's definitely toned down on the stinginess. As you see, I still look like a... Oh, got a hole right there. Let's get that off of there. I look like a chipmunk. Um, it is all in everywhere. But anyway, back to this real quick. As you see, it's pinched down. Got it right there. Will fit on the brim of your hat. It will. And then what I like to do is I like to give it an extra little tight squeeze in the middle, right where I bent in the beginning. And then it will be like that. But you just take your hat. And now you can represent whatever dip you want. Now, I know for a fact this will work on Copenhagen. Grizzly and Skull. I have not worked with any of the others. So I couldn't tell you. But other than that, um, now you guys know how to take the lid. So please in the comments below, tell me what you may have used the lid for. Um, I tell you what, they make a really good weapon because they're sharp. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we are trying to look up at the time. I am about probably 3 to 9. I'm about a good 6, 7, uh, I'm about now 7 minutes into this. A little lightheaded, kind of feels like the first time I had a dip. Um, it doesn't last too long for me because of how long I've been dipping. But um, other than that, The stingings went away, like I said in the beginning of the video. In the comments below as well, tell us how you pack a full can if you do do a full can challenge. I'd also like to see some of your videos. So if you go out and do a full can challenge, please post it on YouTube. And please, you know, tag me in the video or uh, do something of that nature. Put it in the comments below your video. 
I'd like to see, you know, your guys' you know, reaction in trying to hold him. Um, other than that, um, we should probably do a shout out to the um, Dip and Sit page. Mm -hmm. So any of you guys who follow our videos on YouTube would ever like to go live and ask us questions or whatever. On Facebook, there is a page called Dip and Spit Hang. And go on there and join with them. We'll occasionally, probably once a week, we go on there live. We'll be going live right after this video, which this video after it's posted will not be on there because we will not have this video posted probably until tomorrow morning. Agreed. Agreed. So, other than that, also in the comments below, um, we will be doing a video here soon about our first dip and our first dip experience. Um, other than that, y'all, remember, pick up one of these. They're mud jugs. They're incredible. We have the gear and mud jug with us here. Uh, I have an unboxing video of it, some of the other mud jugs I got. Um, other than that, get spitting in something better. Get rid of spitting in bottles. You're going to end up one day making a terrible mistake that you don't want to make. Which I have done, um, I think, once or twice. And after that, once or twice, I won't go back to bottles. Exactly. So, other than that, um, please subscribe to the page. Like this video. Comment if you think there's a video we should do. And definitely, like I said, last time I'll say it, get spitting in something better. And y'all, stay different. Anyway, I'm Matt. I'm Garrett. Thank you for watching. Take it easy, y'all.